Hi everyone, so Chris from Healthy Kids here. Just a quick video to show you how to use our teacher's dashboard for the virtual sports day. Okay, so for you to be actually be able to access the dashboard, we need to get you set up to set up a password. Okay, so we already, al already have your email addresses from your registration. So we'll be adding these on the, tomorrow, so the 15th of May. And once they're added, then you'll receive an email. So this email, will come from noreply at app.healthykids.com. Okay, so this may go to your junk or spam folders, so make sure to check, double check that. Um, so if it's not in your inbox, then go check your spam folders and it should be there. Okay, so it's all fairly um, straightforward. All you need to go is, the, is go to the change my password link. And once you've clicked on that, then you'll be taken to this window. It'll open up a new window on your web browser where you literally just have to create a password and confirm the new password and then hit change my password. It's as simple as that. Once that's done, you can then um, get logged in to the teacher's dashboard. So if you ever need the link, it is app.healthy-kids.com and that's where you can then log in. Okay, so once you've logged in, then you'll be greeted with this uh, this window. Okay, so this will be um, all the people or all your pupils that have registered um, for the virtual sports day. So what you'll see is all of the names in alphabetical order as well as their points. So what their current points are they're sitting on. Okay, what the little green phone means. So if I hover over, it just means that this pupil has an active device. So it just means that they've been active in the last 14 days and they're actively logging points. If people are sitting on zero or there's no green phone, then chances are that they haven't really, uh, they haven't logged on yet. So they may have registered, but they actually haven't logged on. Okay, so once we um, go over to this right-hand side, then we have, this is a summary of your whole school. Okay, so you'll be able to see this sort of pie chart, which will list all the different activities and the most popular activities will come up first. And then as you go around, then obviously the less, um, the less activities have been done for that particular one. So you can see well-being is makes up 13.8%, healthy eating um, is 6.5%, so on and so forth. So the whole way around the pie chart. Um, so that might be useful if you're just double checking, okay, what, what do my pupils actually um, do the most? And in this case, it would be, you know, everybody brushes their teeth more than night, which is typically a good thing. Okay, so outside of that, you don't really need to worry about the certificates. That's for something that we use in our in-school program. And that's more so for, you know, sell or giving um, the children a certificate um, for completing a new level or getting to a new level uh, within the app. Um, so these other windows, we've got details. So again, there's nothing really here that you're going to be using a whole pile other than you can sort of see the current leaderboard within that school. But again, we're not really worried about the, the points within the virtual sports day. We're really concentrating on the different streaks, which I'll talk about in, further on down the line. So the main thing that you're gonna use here, um, if you want to change your school name, you can, um, or even update the contact name telephone number. Again, not really, um, don't really have to do it. But the main function you might wanna use here is the message class function. So if I click into message class, I can then add in any kind of text that I want. If I wanted to congratulate the whole school for doing so well, um, or if I wanted to highlight someone who was, you know, performed really well in some of the activities, then you can do that and type those in. Um, so it's fairly um, open to, it's, we, we don't have any hard fast rules about it, but you can literally message your whole school um, to whatever end you want. Okay, so we'll go back. Um, again, family function you'll not use, admins function you'll not use, but then the activity one will, is where you'll, you might um, check in every now and again to see, okay, how, how long ago have people um, been logging their points? Who's been logging their points recently? So it's just a, an active history, um, a live, this is a li essentially a live feed of what exactly is going on. Um, so you can see when people were doing different activities, what different activities people were doing and so on, and how much points they're rewarded for it. Um, so that is the whole class as a whole, so pretty much the whole summary. If I want a little bit more information about a certain people, um, so if I click into myself here, um, again, you're gonna get these tabs. So you're gonna summary, details and activity. So I can see that I'm in level two. I've got 120 points from six activities and what my current streak is. So this is obviously gonna be important whenever, uh, when the 20 days are up, that you're able to highlight who is on a 20 day streak. So you'll be able to see, um, obviously I wouldn't be getting anywhere near a 20 pound voucher, but this is the method that you then go in and use to see who is on the 20 day streak and who isn't. Um, you can also see what kind of device they have and how long ago they actually um, logged any points. At the bottom then you can sort of see a pupil activity breakdown so you can see what their favourite activities are. Um, so as you can see I've only logged five different things. 
So that is all the, the activities that I um, mostly use. Um, again, you've got the print certificate function, um, but again, not gonna be used for the virtual sports day. In terms of details, quite similar to the class one, you know, you've got your name, contact number, notes. So if you want to keep any notes in there, you can. Um, and then the login details are down here. So if a pupil loses, keeps, loses them from their emails or whatever, then you have a copy that you can send them if needs be. Um, and then the last function again is like similar to the message class function, you have the message pupil function. Okay, so this will be the most important one for the sports day itself. So to find out what people's results are. Um, so on the day of the sports day, um, they will then log their five top, um, top events. So say if mine was long jump and sprint, um, along with three other three others, then in the notes section of the app, they would then record their results. This is what you can then um, you know highlight and then compare for everybody else. So this is very fairly open ended. You know if you wanted to reward people who got the top in their class or whatever, then you then you can. There's no hard fast rules around it, but this is how you actually access the results for the different events. Outside of that, that is pretty much everything. Um, so again, just to recap, you will receive an email from Noah Play at Healthy Kids. Um, you will then have to create a password. Once you've created that password, you then get access to the, to the dashboard. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email at chris at healthykids.com or um, visit our website um, or email info at healthykids.com as well. Enjoy.